Grace and peace, everyone, and welcome, watch enthusiasts. This is Time Measured. My name is DK, also known as Javid, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of two Seiko watches. The first is the Seiko SPB203, and the second is the Seiko SPB205. And before I begin, I'd like to make a commentary on presentation watch boxes. Now, part of the experience of buying a watch is seeing your watch being presented in a nice presentation box. Very simple, but it's part of the experience of buying a watch. And it's very exciting for many of us who purchase a watch to see your watch being presented in a nice presentation box. Take a look at many of the Swiss brands. You can see that they take care in how their watches are being presented to the customers. From Hamilton, Tissot, Glycine, Tag, Omega, Longines, Rolex, the list goes on. You can see that these brands take care in how their watches are being presented. Now, my issue is this. When it comes to Seiko watches, I don't get that same experience. If you look at the box in front of you, the very well-known Seiko white box, there's a black pillow in there as well. Um, it's very, it's very, 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 very underwhelming. And I think that if Seiko wants to move up in the into the luxury category, they need to take care of how their watches are being presented. Now, let me know if you agree whether presentation boxes are important to you. Um, for me, it is. It's part of the buying experience. It's part of the experience of getting a watch. And it seems to me like Seiko just throws their watches into this very generic box that's not exciting at all to open at all. And I think that that's something that Seiko can um, learn from the Swiss brands to, you know, be a little more refined and, and give your watches, especially the watches that are costing over $1,000 and up, take care, take some pride in how your watches are being given to your customers. Let me know if you agree with that comment. And let me know if you think that watch boxes are, are, are important to you. Obviously, the watch is the most important thing, but it's the box is definitely part of the experience and the excitement of getting a watch. And this is something that Seiko has dropped the ball on. And I think that that's something that they can easily improve. I know that they have the money. And it seems that only... They, they give better boxes to only their limited editions. And you'll see what I mean. Um, in a minute. So this is the Seiko SPB203. Generic Seiko box. We have some bubble wrap here. You have your papers at the bottom and manual. And we have the very well-known black Seiko pillow. And here is the Seiko SPB203. This is coming from the Sharp Edge series. I'm not going to do a review. This is just an unboxing. As you can see here, the stickers are still on it and the tags. SPB203J1. Now, the Sharp Edge series is um, dress watches that you can see has Grand Seiko-esque DNA in them. Um, as I said, this is not a review, um, but I will be doing a review shortly. Nothing special about the box. Even though this watch costs over $1,000, you can see that the box is just very underwhelming. Um, there's no excitement at all when opening this box. Um, mind you, I keep all my boxes, but I mean, if I really cared just about the watch, this box would probably get thrown in the garbage. But nonetheless, you see my point. Um, Seiko could do a lot better in presenting a, a watch that costs over $1,000, especially now that they're trying to go into the luxury market. Um, take a little more care in the boxes that you put your watches in. Moving on, we're going to go now to 
the Seiko SPB 205. Now the 205 is a limited edition watch. And you can see here, it's from the Sharp Edge series. So it's essentially the same watch, but it's a limited edition. Now you can see here, there's a difference. This box looks like it's a little more prestigious, a little more luxurious. And then larger, you can see here as well. <clears throat> so you have a black box. You have the word Seiko in gold. So this is the outer box. Now this looks like something that's more respectable. You have a nice black inner box, the word Seiko Presage in gold. Already this feels more, more exciting to me, especially for a limited edition. Let's open the box. Okay. You can see here Seiko Presage limited edition. Now this feels more satisfying to me opening this box. And here is the Seiko SPB 205. You can see here that this also comes with an additional leather strap, which I think is a nice touch. And I think that that's something watch brands should think about doing more often. Um, pairing the watch with an additional strap. So if the watch comes on a metal bracelet, pair it with a nice leather strap or a NATO. Make the, make the experience for the customer worthwhile. So you have your bubble packaging here. <clears throat> and here is the Seiko SPB 205. This is the limited edition. This is the Sharp Edge series. You can see here it's all black, but look at this dial. Wow. Cappuccino colored hemp pattern dial with gold indices beautiful looking now you can see here the pillow it has a nice leathery feel to it now this to me is something that is worth putting a watch that costs a thousand dollars in the box looks nice the pillow looks more luxurious than just the standard seiko pillow this to me makes the experience a lot more better so i'm going to end on this note let me know what you think about presentation boxes. Do you feel that it's important to you? Um, how do you feel about Seiko presentation boxes in particular? Do you feel that that's something that they can improve on? Do you care or not? Let me know in the comments. And please like and subscribe to keep the channel going. And until the next one, take care.